in my house. Ah, oh, that's right, you guys are working online now. Well, welcome. Abby and I were just about to do an experiment, so you may as well join us. Did you know that a solid object has a rigid shape? So if I was to try and put it into a glass, it doesn't change shape. However, a liquid is not rigid. Therefore, if I pour it into a glass, it actually takes the shape of the glass. So what Abby and I were thinking is, we're going to have a bit of an experiment using liquids. Because they're not rigid, we thought, well, are they all the same? What happens when we mix them together? And Abby was wondering, if I put some sunscreen in the water, what's going to happen? We've also collected some oil, some soap, and some milk, and we're going to do a little bit of an experiment to see what happens when we mix liquids together. Are you ready, Abby? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we already know that if I place a solid, like a tennis ball, into a glass, it's not going to change its shape. The shape stays exactly the same, even though it has changed position. Now, before having a go at our experiment, Abby and I have had a go at writing down a list of materials. So the materials we're going to use today include water, oil. Now, I did plan on using some food colouring, but I've actually run out. So we're not going to use food colouring. We've got milk, sunscreen and soap instead. I have four glasses, which we're going to fill with water, only to about halfway, because if I fill it to the top, I'm not going to have any space left for the other liquids. Fill them up about halfway, so to the middle of the glass, make them all the same. Now I'm also going to need some mixing spoons and the something solid was the tennis ball that we looked at earlier. So in the first glass, we're going to have a go at mixing in some soap. Now it's your job to make a prediction. Now a prediction means you're going to have a guess what you think might happen. So when I put the soap in, is it going to mix together? Is it going to separate? Is it going to make bubbles? What do you think is going to happen? Okay, let's have a look. I'm just going to put one little square. Now already we can see that it hasn't mixed together yet. It's sort of sitting in the middle of the water. So I'm going to choose a mixing spoon. I'm going to give it a mix and see what happens. At the moment I can see some bubbles forming. But otherwise, not too much is happening. Mix it a bit faster. Oh, look at that. Ooh, lots of bubbles. So what happens when we mix soap and water? We make bubbles. The next one we're going to try is milk. Now what is your prediction? What do you think is going to happen when I mix milk and water? Ooh, straight away that started to mix together. It kind of looked a bit like a cloud and you can already see it's mixed and it sort of looks like a watery milk. It doesn't look too tasty, but we'll give that one a stir. Is that what you thought would happen? Now let's try some oil. Now make a prediction. What's going to happen to the water when I add the oil? Let's have a look. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Now, as you can see, the oil is not mixing with the water. Now, oil and water do not mix very well. They tend to separate. So you can see the little oil bubbles forming and sitting on top of the water. Now, a fun experiment might be to add some food coloring to this one as well. You can see the oil is happy to be friends with each other and they're all joining together to make one big bubble, but the water does, is not happy. Let's mix it together. Ooh, now I've just made lots of tiny little oil bubbles. They do not like that very much. They do not want to mix with the water. And if you have a look closely, you can see 
the oil is sitting on top of the water does not want to mix in at all now the last one I'm going to try is sunscreen now I haven't tried this one before but if you've ever tried putting sunscreen on when you've got a wet body at the beach or at the pool it doesn't work very well so let's have a look oops clumpy haven't used it in a while oh already you can see the sunscreen is not mixing well with the water now it has gone a little bit solid because it's been sitting in my cupboard so let's give it a stir if you left your sunscreen out in the sun it would become more liquid and it would be a little bit easier to mix together but as you can see sunscreen and water just does not work so whenever you're putting your sunscreen on at the beach or at the pool you need to make sure that you dry yourself off first so that the sunscreen can soak into your skin because they do not want to be friends well there you go we've just done some liquid mixing now it's your turn go away and find some liquids around your house and see what happens when you mix them together bye guys